Today I met a student majoring in business administration at our university. Although he is a student, he is exploring various business opportunities such as making wedding videos or producing real estate related videos using drones. Let's hear his entrepreneur story. My name is Ren Lee. I'm currently a junior at Oakland University. I'm studying business management and I've been here for two years. So I got started doing drones back in Christmas time of I'd say 2019. And back then uh, my mom bought me a DJI Mini, which is a consumer level um, drone, but it still had a lot of interesting features. So by flying that drone, I got familiar with DJI and its software and really fell in love with the whole idea of flying drones and um, running a business off of it and making money. Because back then, this was quite an expensive gift, and I wanted to kind of repay my mom by using this gift to make money and sort of give her what this drone costs back to her. So I got started with my dad, who was involved in real estate. I offered to take pictures of some of his houses and post them for sale, um, sort of to give it a bit of an edge compared to other houses in the marketplace, where you have a top-down view of the house and see the whole layout, sort of at a glance. This also all kind of helped him with roof inspections, whether it's storm damage after shingles or gutter clogs and issues um, involving the roof. The drone uh, allowed me to um, quickly see what's up there, um, get up close and personal and inspect it without the liability and risk of actually climbing on the roof and having harnesses, having special shoes, equipment, ladders, an extra person, etc. It turned essentially a $1,000 job into a $100 job, um, which helped both my dad and me because he was paying me and he was gaining this valuable service that he'd have to spend more money on otherwise. So from that, I expanded using his business contacts and from posting ads on the marketplace um, about my drone services. I expanded to other houses and eventually a couple reached out for me to film their wedding. Um, from that point, I evolved into more advanced gear. Um, at the time, it was the DJI Mavic 2. So I uh, used that drone to shoot, but I found that that drone was also quite lacking um, compared to some of the stuff I wanted to gather. Um, it, it was pretty limited just having me um, both fly the drone and focus on filming, as well as the quality and uh, the, the way it was able to handle the speed of the moving drone, the camera shutter speed, and all of that technical aspect. It just wasn't up to par, both in operating it and filming it. So that's when I discovered DJI Inspire 1. Um, that's the first drone I started off with. It's, um, as you see previous, the Inspire 2's predecessor. It had a lot more limited features, but it was uh, still an impressive platform, and, uh, allowing me to have a pilot and a camera operator. Often I was a camera operator with a separate pilot I hired from a friend. Um, from there, we filmed more um, professional content. Uh, involving local ads. I filmed a few of those um, around the Wayne County area, uh, as well as filming some promotional content um, for fundraisers, for school, um, for small businesses requiring a quick 30 second video or uh, just hobby projects. It was just great to get familiarized with the drone and all of its professional aspects. Thank you. And uh, do you have any future plans based on drone? Um, for now, I've put the pilot remote down, I'm focusing mostly on education. I currently do laser abrasive removal with laser machines um, involving using lasers to clean off paint, rust, and uneven metal surfaces. Um, I do see myself going back into drones uh, with uh, my family's expanding real estate. Um, we're getting more and more houses in, so i got to take pictures of that. But I don't really see myself going back into the marketplace of uh, doing that for others, as there's currently a lot of people out there doing similar stuff as I was doing back in 2019. Since drones are more uh, accessible, there's more and more people with drones and a desire to make money with them, so to speak. So the profit margin is not as great as it was back then. Um, it's still a very viable avenue for someone to make money in today's market. Um, if you're able to pick up a high quality DJI drone and familiarize yourself with uh, operating it, um, seeing what customers want and what they need, uh, you can do very well out there, easily making, I'd say, low six figures if you're successful. But for myself personally, uh, I'm going to do other things, I guess. I, I haven't really planned it out, but... 
As competition in the drone market intensified recently, he is also facing challenges in a changing environment. However, as interest in and popularities of drones have increased rapidly, universities are actively conducting research on what business opportunities there might be using them. Agricultural drones are being built to spray pesticides over vast farmlands, and drones can be also built to enter areas that are difficult for people to assess for survey purpose. As drone technology advances day by day, there are now opportunities to explore various business opportunities using it. I am very much looking forward to Ren's entrepreneurial journey going forward. Thanks for watching. I wish you all the best for your future.